Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I've actually had a ton of requests to do a video all about my fantasy self products. So the way that this video came about is through my declutter series. So if you're new to my channel, I film a declutter once a month where I go through my collection and pick out items that I'm not really using. And then I find new homes for them. And a lot of times when you're hearing my explanation for the products, I'll mention that this is something I feel like I've been holding on to for my fantasy self, kind of like this other version of myself that maybe wears some more fun makeup styles than I do, who wears a lot more glitter, a lot more bold shades, but in reality, these are not the products that I'm using consistently. These are not my like staple everyday products. They're things that I kind of hold on to for that fantasy self. And because I mentioned that idea so often in my declutters, a lot of you have requested to see a video where I talk about those items. So these are all items that I like the quality of and in my mind, I feel like they're things I should use and should have fun with but realistically, I don't use them that much. Before we hop in, if you're curious about any of this look, I did film everything. I filmed the face and eyes for IGTV. I don't think that's up when this video goes up, but it is coming. Also, I filmed this fun little balloon flip braid hair tutorial for my TikTok, and that video is already up if you're curious how I got these. This one piece on this side keeps wanting to stick out. I'm just like trying to fold it back in. Same up here. I'm kind of bobby pinned into place. But let's go ahead and hop into it. So let me just start off by saying I feel like this video could be categorized as just glitters. There are so many glittery products that I want to mention, so let me just kind of go over them. But when I was picking out different glitters to feature, the first one that stood out to me is this. I think I've used this once, but I can't get rid of it because I'm like, one day I'm going to have the perfect occasion for that. And again, that's this fantasy self. Like, one day I will need this. This is a black glitter eyeshadow from Pixi. This is the shade Starry Night. It's a super cool color. It's black glitter. Well, it's actually a black base, but it kind of has these like gold and silver, almost even like copper, just a ton of different colors of glitter throughout it. One day I wore this and I did a really cool look with it. I did a super dark smoky eye, had like a bun in my hair. I did super dramatic makeup and this fit perfectly. And I even thought to myself that I was gonna wear it for New Year's Eve this year. I did something kind of fancy for New Year's and I thought, you know, this is the perfect product for that. I didn't even end up using it for that. This is just something that I, th I keep thinking like, you know, one day I'm gonna have a need for a black glitter eyeshadow, but I don't. Also from there, we've got other liquid eyeshadows. I mean, this one I use a little bit more. This is also from Pixi. This is the shade Crystalline. I would say out of most of my like liquid glitter shadows, this is probably one of the most used because it's just a very pretty topper shade. But also, I've got some loose glitters. I've got this titanium dust from Blush Tribe. Whenever, I, okay, whenever I use this, whenever I use any of these, I really like the look. So that's why I keep them. And with this, I've made some really cool looks with it, but I've only made like three or four really cute looks with it. Also, I've got these dual metallic shadows from Koki. Again, a great formula. You've got the kind of gel formula on the top, or I guess the cream, and then you apply that first as a base, and then you can open it up, and on the bottom you have a loose glitter that you can tap on top. Super cool formula. My Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. Let me move these. These are kind of out of frame. Let's move these. But these, if you guys saw in one of my recent declutters, I actually got rid of the blue shade, which I think was called Gamma Ray. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the blue shade. I kept these two. This is Midnight Cowboy and then Cat Call. This is definitely my most used out of the three. But again, I keep these thinking, you know, one day I might need a pink glitter eyeliner. And you know, maybe one day I will, but this is just something that I'll probably use like once a year. I don't, I don't really need to keep these more glitter this body glitter from urban decay this is the shade moon spoon it's their moon dust liquid glitter now this if you guys watched the video where i reviewed this this is extremely glittery and the fact that it's silver it doesn't look subtle on the skin like it looks quite glittery and i wore it in my most recent speed reviews video so you can see it there i had it all over my neck and chest and a lot of people let me know that they did not like this glitter. They thought it was way too glittery. And I kind of do as well for day to day, but I'm keeping it just thinking, you know, one day when life gets back to normal, maybe one day I will go to a concert or maybe one day I will go to a festival and I will need a very intense over the top silver glitter. 
and I'll be so glad that I kept this one. Maybe. Same with duochrome highlighters. And now I will say, there are some duochrome highlighters that I actually do like and I feel like can be worn for every day. You can make them very subtle. But this one, not necessarily on my skin tone. This is from Becca. This is the duochrome highlighter in the shade Prismatic Amethyst. And with this one, I think for someone extremely fair, this might be actually a really pretty everyday highlighter, but it's quite icy. So for me, I don't think it works for every day. And I'm just kind of saving it. Like one day I'm going to have a look that calls for this particular duochrome highlighter. And sometimes I would say I do use it more as like an inner corner highlight than a cheek highlight. And like I said, some duochrome highlighters, I, I could see myself wearing a little bit more consistently, but just this one in particular that's so icy and not really highlightery. I feel like this just kind of has that flip to it. It doesn't also make your cheeks glow like the highlighter I'm wearing today, which ironically is a duochrome. I actually have on two also from Becca. I'm wearing the new Own Your Light shade as a blush topper kind of. So I've got that duochrome there. And then the tops of the cheeks are champagne pop. Also bold lips. Now there was a time in my life that I actually did wear bold lips, probably more than I wore nude lips. I went through a phase where I loved a really, really dark burgundy lip color and I wore it super consistently. But these days, my number one is a nude, and then probably my number two, if I'm not wearing a nude, I'm wearing a red. But I still keep all these like bold shades. So I'm like, one day, one day I'm gonna need these. So this is Cape Town from Ofra, Havana Nights from Ofra, and then this one, whoa, this is from Bite, and it's Acai Smash. Actually, very similar to Cape Town. Very, very similar actually. Now I will say, will I wear these in the fall? Probably, but throughout the other seasons, maybe not so much. I don't know though, maybe that should be a challenge for myself. Maybe I should throw a couple of these into my next Shop My Stash rotation. If any of you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a couple years now, you might remember when I did Bold Lip Week, I think it was two years ago, and for every day of the week, I tried to challenge myself to wear a bright, bold lip shade that I wouldn't, wouldn't otherwise wear too often. So maybe I need to do something like that. I don't know. I just, I feel like these are all such pretty shades, but I don't use them a ton. Colorful eyeliners. So I've got these two from ColourPop. I've had these for years. This is Prance, which is like a pastel light blue. Really pretty. And sometimes I do have a look that calls for a light pastel blue eyeliner, but truly not that often. And then I've got this bright green, which is the shade Teaspoon. Now, I really love the ColourPop whoops, eyeliner formula for their longevity. They are kind of a weird formula, as you could see just now. They do crumble, and I just had a piece fall off the top of this, so that's definitely a bummer about this formula. They do feel super dry as well, so I don't recommend applying these really on the skin if you're going to wear them on the upper lash line or something like that. But for a waterline eyeliner, this is my favorite formula because it does not budge. But both of these I've had for probably too long, but I feel like I can never declutter them because I'm like, you know, one day I'm gonna be doing a look that's gonna call for a bright green eyeliner in my waterline. And I don't know why I think this because I wear green eyeshadow a lot. It's one of my, it's actually my favorite eyeshadow color to wear besides neutrals. And even still, I very rarely pair it with a green eyeliner. Also, this colorful palette. This is the Hasina palette from Blush Tribe. Now, I will say a couple years ago, this was definitely more my makeup style, and these were the colors I was wearing quite consistently. But these days, I tend to prefer something a little bit more muted. And this palette, if you guys have been around for a while, you've probably heard me say that I've been on the verge of decluttering this, and I think I might eventually i don't know again this is a fantasy product where i'm like one day i'm gonna want to do a bright colorful look and then i think to myself maybe my makeup style will move back into super colorful and i'll want to wear these bright bold shades again but for now this doesn't get a ton of use for me now with all of the other products they were mostly kind of fun makeup items that i don't wear too consistently maybe they're a little bit more glittery or colorful than i wear on an everyday basis but this one is kind of the opposite. This is a lip tint from Color, Color Girl, <laughs> Cover Girl. That was a combination of Color Pop and Cover Girl, Color Girl. 
This is the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil, and this shade is called 110 Quench. And it's kind of just this transparent pink shade. And I feel like I'm keeping this because I'm like, maybe one day I'm going to need just a soft lip tint. I'm not going to want to wear a bold color on my lips. And I feel like for someone with a very like glossier makeup aesthetic, this might be an everyday product for you. Or if you just like, like minimum, barely there makeup, this might be an everyday type of product. But for me, typically if I'm applying a lip product, I wanted to have a little bit more opacity than this. If I'm just applying something like this to get a little bit of hydration, I'd rather just wear a lip balm. I don't need this super subtle pink tint. As I'm talking about it, I'm like, this one out of this whole video, I really should declutter because I don't know. I don't know though, but then I'm like, I'm picturing one day, maybe I will go to like the farmer's market and not really want to wear a lot of makeup, but I want just a little bit of a pink tint on my lips. And see, this is why this is my fantasy self, because every time I try to declutter one of these, I'm like, wait, 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 maybe one day I will have an occasion that calls for this lip product. <laughs> but those were all of the products in this video. I hope this video was fun for you guys. This is a concept that I feel like kind of spans beyond just makeup and the idea of your fantasy self might play into the clothing that you wear or just products around your house. So I think it's kind of fun to evaluate this fantasy self and ask yourself, why am I holding on to products for this? Is this something that realistically I will get use out of? And I feel like it's kind of a good decluttering tool, even though, as you saw in this video, a lot of these I'm still holding on to. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I will leave my declutter playlist linked down below if you want to check it out here, kind of some more about other fantasy products that I have decluttered. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.